If we define the word initiative, please say it again. Initiative. Initiative. I I have this word uh, initiative, a plan or a program that is needed to solve a problem. Do we have initiative? Yes. Yes. Do yeah? yes. Amen. Because uh, in my 32 years of experience in the in my profession, I handled many people already that the uh, if this word is will become a curriculum or subject matter, uh, a lot of people failed on this on this uh, on this word. But I believe as a Christians we all pass an ex with an excellent rating of this word. The centurion was walking from a distance to look for Jesus of Nazareth. Because he believed that Jesus can heal his servant. He did not wait miracle to happen without his initiative to come to, the, to Jesus. He initiated the action of coming to Jesus. He did not wait Jesus to come to him and offer a healing power. And he did not look at himself as a Roman officer, but he humbled himself by approaching to Jesus. So just remember, a Roman officer is a powerful uh, person that time. He has a uh, about 100 uh, soldiers with him. He has the power. He's a, he's a like a commanding officer, so he can uh, command. But he initiated his action by walking far distance. His initiative creates that God can make a miracle for his servant. Amen. Just like in Luke chapter 8 verse 43 to 48, there was a woman has shown initiative by crawling in the large crowd of people. He, she has a bleeding problem in her in her health. So for 12 years, uh, for her, once she could touch the friends of the garment of Jesus, she will be healed. So despite of the crowd, she crawled and she touched and then Jesus suddenly surprised because there was a power removed from the body of Jesus Christ at that time. And she saw the girl, the woman. Although Jesus knew that uh, the woman touched him, but uh, she want to, he, uh, Jesus wanted to ask, who touches me? Who touches me? And uh, one of the disciples, you know, there are many people around us, surrounding you. So many, I don't, we don't know who touches But uh, Jesus told the woman, your faith healed you. Amen? Amen. So, mga ate at kuya, what are the reasons why we cannot make an initiative to come to Jesus? One is, we are hesitant to come to, to the throne of God. So we are doubtful. So, there are times like that because we depend to our, to our own strength, we rely to our uh, knowledge, because we are, we are to, to, to ourselves, we are the best, but we forget that that is our, as a Christians, that's supposed to be our privilege to come and to humble before the throne of God. And by doing that, the miracle could happen. And number two, we are full of pride. This word pride is a hindrance to our even to our relationship with our friends to, to our almighty father to jesus christ sometimes when we rise up in the morning we forget to to, to pray and, and, and we always think we check right away the our cell phones, how many notifications there, you want to do updates and some of them. The, those people are uh, preoccupied of the cell phones already. It cannot uh, be part of their uh, faces every morning when they wake up and they go directly to the cell phone and sometimes they are playing class of clans. 
class of clans. So you say, as a Christian, we should be the Christians of Christ. Amen, Bob? Amen. And number three, we are lazy. And this is a very uh, common, sad, uh, very common. Uh, portion of our uh, personality. Um, if we are lazy, we 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 don't allow the miracle to happen to us because if we are lazy, how could we take the initiative, right? If we could not take the initiative like what the centurion did, God will not do his miracle for you. When the centurion found Jesus came to him seeking his uh, presence, the, in order for the centurion to show his humility, number one is through taking initiatives to find Jesus, and number two is seek the presence of the Lord. The definition of presence is attention. Are we seeking the Lord? Amen. 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 Yes, we should seek. By, by, by seeking His presence, we can allow His power to do to us. He was pleading, the centurion was pleading to Jesus, saying, Lord, my servant is lying at home, paralyzed, dreadfully tormented, dreadfully tormented. So worst, worst uh, ailment that uh, uh, experiencing excruciating pain that uh, almost uh, waiting for his life uh, to death. So just imagine. So that centurion without his hesitation told Jesus about his situation. The message was so clear that he was pleading to Jesus' attention. And God did not thank him. Amen. He attended the centurion and said, I will come to you and heal your servant. Amen. 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 Because the centurion was able to get his attention. God is willing Amen. to spend time to the centurion house. Hallelujah. Because if we will not humble ourselves unto God, and we can, we will not, uh, we we'll just keep our problem our, with ourselves, and we are afraid because of something. I, I don't know if we are ashamed to to tell Jesus or to tell God about our problems because of of some guilt in our hearts. Maybe you are you are uh, uh, shy of uh, telling. But no, in Matthew six chapter six verse thirty three. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. And all these things will be given to you as well. Amen. Do you, this is a wonderful promise by God to all believers. Just seeking. But the problem is, from the, from the passage itself, we should seek His presence or God's presence. The centurion us or he seek the presence of the Lord. So in Tagalog for all Filipinos, katagpuin mo muna ang Panginoon. Kuhanin mo muna ang attention ni Lord. Amen. At ipagkaloob niya ang iyong mga pangangailangan. Amen. So in English <laughs> So, itong seek, seeking the, uh, I will share to you my personal experience. In, in 2002 to 2005, I became a millionaire, you know. And that time, I thought that my money will never uh, end. But there was a point, there was a point that I became poor again. So all the millions gone. Because uh, the franchisee of the third party, I was in the third party in the company and the company sold to other company the business that I have. So I had to close my business. So I start again, but that time, uh, 
uh, God is calling me. Uh, because I, I was, uh, I, I'm always prioritizing the business, the money, and everything, my family. Sometimes I forgot him. But in that uh, moment, he called my attention. And uh, to me, I seek his guidance. I seek his presence. To me, I said, Lord, never allow me to see my children in hunger. Because we are in that situation that I have no even a peso in my pocket to buy a sardinas, you know? Sardinas. Uh, sardinas. Sardines. 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 <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, uh, sardines. You know sardines? Uh, my brothers. Five, five, five. Five, five, five. Let's see the, in the bakala, you know? Uh, the, you know? And then, and now, we, God answered my prayer. He sent me to Saudi Arabia and all was history. Amen. Oh, amen. amen. I can buy right now uh, even a 3,000 uh, pieces of uh, sardines. Amen. amen. So, what is the point there? You have to seek the Lord. You have to seek. You have to ask. You have to. Lord, I am in, in this situation. And even my house unlocked. Uh, Ma, it could be uh, uh, conf confiscated uh, <laughs> by the sinangla o kasi sinangla o kasi pero sabi ko sa three days na lang mga 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 confiscate na ano yun Lord kailangan mo tumba hay na to uh, alam mo naman yun kinangkira pa ko to but my situation is I cannot do how can I uh, redeem 350,000. I don't have any events and peso. Then how, how can I redeem that? It's a part of the business, the loss, the losses that I have. And even the house unlock uh, was sacrificed. But in three days' time, he showed to me a person, a billionaire, a Chinese. I don't know him. But he asked me, What is your problem, Edwin? And I, 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 I Share my problem. This is my problem, sir. Okay, you should have told me before. And then, yes, I'm so shy, I'm shy. And he gave me a check. Three hundred fifty thousand. Wait, you have the privilege. But uh, what what is uh, important? We have to seek. We have to seek God's power. Amen. Uh, again? Okay. Uh, first, uh, in order for the Lord to to exercise his power to you and for us to experience and to encounter the supernatural power of God first we have to be humble uh, express our humility and number two is admit that we are here bless yes in verse 5 6 and 7 it says them uh, that uh, but admitting being helpless the centurion did through Ask a help from Jesus Christ. He asked from uh, he asked a help. Imagine the centurion that time is a powerful person, but uh, in, instead of uh, thinking himself, I'm powerful. I don't need this guy. I can do this. I can lay hands my myself, but but he did not because he know that there is one person who could save his problem, and no other than that Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 Paul. And now uh, when did. Uh, the, the definition of us help uh, from this uh, phrase is a manner of showing to be helpless. And the centurion felt helpless of the situation because if they can still do something, he will not give the time to come to Jesus and ask help. Just like in the Second Kings, chapter twenty, verse one to eleven, and uh, Isaiah thirty-eight, verse one to eight. The, if you still remember the story of uh, Ezekiel, who asked God for longer life, he was ill, and uh, Isaiah, uh, the prophet, told him that uh, prepare yourself, uh, you are going to die. You put your house in order like that. But uh, he prays to the wall and cried and prayed, and then the God heard his prayer and uh, told Isaiah, go to the Ezekiah and put, tell him that his prayer has been answered. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. So what, what's that point there? We have to 
us. I mean, if we have problem, are we asking God? Crying. This is a wonderful uh, promise of God in John 16, 24, 16, 24. Until now, you have not asked for anything in my name. Memorize po nila yan, magkalano kasi yan si, ano, si Pastor Randy. And ask and you shall, we will receive and your joy will be complete. Amen? Amen. So, we will use this powerful promise by God to us. Because if we will not use as a Christian believer, if, if you just uh, feel, I have a problem, uh, what can I do? I think so. Why help me? Well, pray this one. I mean, in fact, you have all the uh, privileges, authority to open up to God. Amen. But uh, if you will not open up to God, nothing will happen to you. Amen. Paul? So let us admit, the, the centurion admit that apart from God, he can do nothing. Through some, though some people, even inside the church, even the churches, are already succumbed by, your, by their own glory because of life achievements, they are lawyers, they are engineers, they are somebody that are wealthy, they have wealth, they have positions in the government. They don't need, they, uh, they forget to ask that. But uh, actually, their wealth, their positions cannot save them. Amen. The sector you knew Jesus what he can do, and he admitted that he cannot help his servant. Our situation will not guarantee that God will do miracles for us. We should ask first, like what the centurion did, he asked Jesus for help to heal his servant. We must not rely on our strength, Amen. but in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ, Every time we encounter issues beyond our control, we have to ask God to help us solve the problem. Amen. Amen. So, be like Hannah, not her. <laughs> In the Bible, make an appeal to God. In 1 Samuel, chapter 1, verse 8 to 20, <laughs> Hannah, uh, the, 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 she, she asked the mother of Samuel. Amen. Amen. Uh, here, here, uh, Eli, the, the prophet, uh, 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 the priest, the high priest, so uh, Hannah praying like a drunken woman, like this letter. He said, Stop that, Hannah, I think you are drunk. No, I'm not, I'm not drunk. I'm praying that uh, to have a child. And God assured and, and Samuel to, to be born and to be. Uh, prophet and um, to be uh, uh, inandog siya doon sa ano uh, offered 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 ha? offered uh, may translator ako dito sa kaliwa mula atas okay <laughs> okay uh, so that's it uh, the application of uh, we have a uh, tackle dyan 1624 and uh, we must uh, open our problems to to God. And number two, uh, in order for us to uh, experience the supernatural encounter with God is by trusting Jesus Christ. Trust means believe that someone is reliable. So trust. This is the favorite uh, verse that I, I have. Uh, Actually, na remember ko yung uh, uh, during the wedding of my daughter Geraldine here in Atsman. Uh, I supposed to write this verse on the uh, not, uh, book. Those who are what favorite verse that I uh, should write for my daughter and for my son-in-law. But you know what happened when I saw the notebook? Uh, already written there. Oh, who wrote that one? My balai. What is balai? Uh, my balai. That's why I changed. But this is my favorite verse. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your paths straight. So, 
when the centurion told Jesus about his problem, it's an act of trust. Showing trust to a person is sharing our own struggle, our own secret. The centurion said, the servant was dreadfully tormented. It's a scenario wherein he, he trusted that the Lord can do something in his situation. In his situation. So trust the Lord. How are we trusting God? Amen. Christians are called believers. Amen. They are doubtful of God's absolute power by not fully trusting Him. We must not act like an antichrist that who don't trust God, who don't even believe that there is God. Antichrist people. We should put God first in our lives in any circumstances because God wants us to put our confidence and trust in Him all the time in everything. Amen? Amen. Okay. <laughs> so if we want to experience a supernatural encounter with God, number one is we must humble before God. Number two, we must Admit that we are helpless. And number three, we must have faith in God. So in verse 8, have faith in God. Okay, in verse 8, it said that, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak, and my servant will be healed. So, faith. The centurion have faith. He demonstrate his faith through accepting being nothing or accept our nothingness. So nothingness means worthlessness. Worthlessness. Wala ka. Zero. Nothingness. So Lord, I'm not worthy that you should come in my room. That, that's the point there. So unless we remove the pride inside our heart, we cannot experience the supernatural encounter with God. Like what the centurion did, despite of his power as a Roman officer, he removed his pride. Again, the pride is mentioned again. And considered himself not worthy to have Jesus under his roof. By the way, how can we relay the faith and nothingness in this in this uh, scenario? Our faith, if, if God without man, he is still God. Amen? Amen? But if man without God, he is nothing. Amen? Amen. Yes. Amen. Our faith increases if we realize that we are nothing without God. If we if we realize that I am nothing without Him, our faith increases. Mm. Amen? Amen? So, as a believer of Christ, we have to consider ourselves nothing before God and have faith to His Word because God is faithful to His promise. And I, I would like uh, to, to share a little of my experience. I use this uh, when I encounter a difficult situation when I studied in the university when I was in third year college where my mother had to stop one of his children from studying because we were seven. Tatlong lang ulang maging sampo na. Bito kami magkapatid. So, apat kami nag-aaral. So, apat kami college. Uh, bito na kami nag-aaral. Apat kami college. So, we are seven studying that time and four us were in college. So one of my mother was a teacher. And I saw her doing some sidelines, sailing like this, sitting, sailing uh, clothing, um, a lot of sidelines. I saw that and I beat my mother that time. When she, uh, she had a hard time to decide whom his, her children to stop, I, I just volunteered. Ma, ako na lang. Ako na lang hinto. But deep inside, I don't like to stop uh, from my studies. As I traveled from from my place to Davao City, uh, I, I was thinking, what should I do? What should I do? 
there is one thing that I need. And ex facto, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 7. Cast all your cares unto the Lord, for He cares for you. And I said to, to the Lord, Lord, I don't want to stop. Use somebody and make miracle for me to have a money for my enrollment because three days, three days na lang mag, uh, eh, magpasokan na. And, the, and God answered my prayer. And there is a one person who led me. That time, 1983, 500 pesos, 350 ang enrollment. May isokli pa, 150. <laughs> so, napaka-mura pa na doon. Pero, Ano ang ano doon? Ano ang ano ang ang tema doon? He ang point the point there is God answered my prayer because I, I I I offered to him my situation and and asked him to help me. And after that, what how to support my tuition fee for the three years? Uh, because I took up a bachelor of science in chemical engineering, so three years more. What if uh, I asked again? Lord, use a person where I could learn, uh, uh, earn, uh, I could have an earnings for my tuition fee. And indeed, I have a one professor there cleaning his her house. She was an engineer, and everything I clean, everything I wash the clothes, everything. And then she she asked me how much I went. No, don't pay me, mom. Just introduce me to your fellow uh, professors. So that I can have in earnings. So I became an assistant or professor for five professors. Glory to God because of that uh, miracle that God made to me. Amen. Amen. So I succeed. The history, uh, all was it history. Um, na natapos ko po yung three years na walang bagsak lahat. Amen. Na, ano, and even my mother was surprised when I told her I will be graduating. Prepare a clothes for me, and then uh, I, I will be marching this this day. You know, and paano ka nagdraduate? Yung minto ka naman. Sabi ko nagaral po ako, bumuli po rin po ako sa pagaral. And hindi po hindrance ang poverty to success. Gawin mo lang yung part mo, initiative mo, and ask help from God. Amen. Amen. And, and number two, uh, to have faith. The center yun show his belief. He believed the healing power of Jesus Christ. So, in verse 9, For I also am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this one, Go, and he does. And to another, Come, and he comes. And to my servant, Do this, and he does it. To believe means to accept the truth of what is said by someone. So just like when Jesus performed his miracle by healing the serpent, the Roman officer, he only promised, he showed his absolute power as an omnipresent. Remember, Jesus Christ did not even lay hands, did not even uh, uh, went to the exact place where the, the person, the servant uh, is present. He just, he just uh, spoke through his word. He showed his, uh, his power. That he is present. I believe that God is here right now. Amen. My brothers and sisters, and we, we can we can feel his presence because he's omnipresent. Amen. Amen. So uh, as a Christian believer, we should not doubt God. We must believe. And in Mark eleven, chapter eleven, verse twenty-four. Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for anything. To pray. Amen. 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 If we, if, if we believe in God, God, in the Word of God, we should never doubt His power because nothing is impossible with God. How many minutes? Amen. Uh, it's five. Uh, okay. Uh, what are the common reasons? Reasons we doubted God instead of believing in Him. What are the common? One is because of our pride. 
again, pride is uh, mentioned again. This this word really hinders us our relationship with God. And I, he, we, we stop the miracle to flow to us. We, as as Abi Itzio mentioned, the floodgates of the heaven shuts. shuts. It closed because we forget to trust and even we forget to pray. Amen. And one thing, one reason is sin. Being unforgiving. There is guilt in our hearts. So God can, it will hinder us. It, it, it will hinder the power of God to do His miracle to us. And number three is unbelief. Because we rely on our strength. We believe that we are somebody. And we, we are confident that you are healthy. But when you are weak, that's the time you learn. Come to the Lord and uh, pray. That's the time you realize that you, you you need prayer. But when you are healthy and you are you have no problem, there is unbelief. Yeah. You are you are showing your uh, sometimes some people showing their arrogance through that kind of uh, action. So, Mahati at Kuya, I would like to uh, summarize what we have taken, the three ways to experience a supernatural encounter with God is uh, first, humility before the Lord, and then uh, by taking humility, we have initiative to find Jesus Christ, seek the presence of the Lord, and number two, admit that we are helpless, remember, always remember that we are helpless Amen. without God. And through, through that, uh, we must uh, ask for help from Jesus Christ and trust in Jesus Christ. And number three, have faith in God. So acknowledge our nothingness. Always, uh, apart from Him, we can do nothing. And in number two, by having faith in God is uh, believe the healing power of Jesus. Every time we have a uh, health issues in our families, in our brothers and sisters, even in our friends, in our uh, parents. We can exercise, we can uh, run through the name of Jesus Christ, they could be healed. That's, uh, that's our privilege as a Christians. And to end my uh, sermon, I'd like to give you this verse, uh, John chapter 20, verse 29. It says that uh, Jesus said to him, Thomas, because you have seen me, you have believed. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. Let's all stand for a short prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for the words that we have taken, for the topics that we have discussed, Lord God, that all of us can experience miracles through your power and we humble to you. We believe, believe in your power and trusting in you, everything that we have, Lord God. We, uh, we pray, Lord God, that uh, we can apply what we have learned this moment, Lord God, and we can share even to our brothers and sisters, to our friends and to our families, what we have learned today. And all of these things, Lord God, we give you back all the glory, honor, and praise. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen.